Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. So in order to start this project, we're going to go ahead and loosen the wheel, uh, the lug nuts here. We're going to use a breaker bar with a 19 millimeter socket. So next we're going to go ahead and raise and support your vehicle. Uh, you can use a jack and jack stands. In this case here, we're using a lift to make it a little bit easier. We'll just go ahead and remove the lug nuts here just by using that socket because we've already loosened those. With the lug nuts removed, we can now go ahead and remove the wheel and tire. So right about here we have your uh, sway bar or anti-sway bar end link here and here's your sway bar. In most cases here you'll find these sway bar end links broken. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to go ahead and remove this and do an installation for you. So this component here can actually be removed and replaced with the tire still in the vehicle. We just happen to have the vehicle uh, up in the air with the tire off so it just made it a little bit easier. But this is something you can do with the tire still on there. Alright, so we're going to use a 14 millimeter on the head of the bolt down below. I'm going to use a 14 millimeter on the top. It may vary on your application. I'm going to go ahead and remove this nut here. Now this does come off in stages. You have your main washer, you have your rubber or poly bushing, and then obviously you have the sway bar link here or the sway bar itself, anti-sway bar. I'm going to try and just tap this down. And this will, bolt will slide out through the bottom. But we don't want to lose is all these components in the middle here. We're going to show you what those do. We're going to, before we pull this out, we're going to go ahead and start pulling apart the internal pieces here. Okay, so here is your complete anti-sway bar end link, okay, and you can actually see it just starts off with just a basic bolt, then you have your metal collar here, you want to make sure that that slides on so that the dish part is facing upward. Then you can take your component here, your bushing could be a poly or rubber bushing, slide that down. Now this is going to go up inside the control arm, but what you want to do is you want to be able to sleeve the uh, components together. So what's going to happen next is your next bushing is going to go on, followed by your next dish. Now this is going to go the opposite way, so it's going to compress and squeeze against its matching component. This here is simply just a sleeve, it's not threaded, it slips right down. Your next component is that there slide this on and once again we're going to sleeve the other component which is your sway bar your anti-sway bar that'll slip on followed by that and followed by the nut so that there is your complete unit our vehicle doesn't actually need a replacement but this is just your R&R &R process so here's the reinstallation gonna slide this up through the bottom and go ahead and slide your bushing down, followed by that spacer, that washer. I'm going to now go ahead and put the sleeve on. Okay. It's going to be the next bushing. I'm sorry. It's actually your spacer here first, then the bushing. Now you have to slide, slide this up underneath. Like so. You want to push that up, push that bolt up through the middle. So now you can see the base bolt is in. You have your bushing, collar, sleeve, collar, bushing. All by the bushing and the collar right there. And then the last component is the nut. We'll go ahead and get that threaded on. 
So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up with a 14 millimeter. So as you're tightening this here, you're probably wondering how tight do I tighten this here? Well, basically you want to get it so that the rubber bushing expands out to roughly the diameter of the uh, metal washers there. So we're pretty much, we're right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the tire. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the lug nuts here. You wanna get a few threads caught on all of these here. These lug nuts are a 19 millimeter. So we're just gonna snug these, bottom it out, bottom the wheel out to the rotor. We're gonna lower the vehicle down onto its own weight and then do a final torque. With the vehicle on the ground, we're gonna do its final torque of the wheel, which is between 83 and 112 foot pounds. We're gonna do it in a star pattern just double check the first one. She's all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.